Welcome back to Cross Culture New Mexico. I'm your host, Mark Tross. We are continuing our series on the prophetic fulfillment of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and also the Feast of Trumpets, talking about the shofar. Again, this is an extra large ram's horn. You can see both sides of that. We've talked previously about some of the different types of horn blowing, but we're going to continue. Another important fulfillment of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, is the regathering of the Jewish believing remnant at the second coming of Messiah. Now, God has promised to gather all that are scattered all around the world. As far back as the 7th century BCE, the prophet Isaiah wrote in chapter 27, verses 12 and 13, In that day the Lord will thresh from the flowing Euphrates to the wadi of Egypt, and you, O Israelites, will be gathered up one by one. Now, we talked about the prophetic fulfillment of the shofar in the New Covenant in the previous video right here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe to Cross Culture NM and check that out out of 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. And in that day, a great trumpet will sound. He's speaking of the ram's horn. The ram's horn. This is an extra large ram's horn. And we will get to a video where we give you the four specific sounds of the shofar, those who were perishing in Assyria and those who were exiled in Egypt will come and worship the Lord on the holy mountain in Jerusalem. This is so important that you get that. Read it for yourself, Isaiah 27, verses 12 and 13. That this passage is referring to a latter-day regathering of the believing remnant is clear, and we are still waiting for the shofar to fulfill it. And so we are waiting for Messiah. We know that the Jews are gathered in the land of Israel right now. Of course, not all of them are rounded up and worshiping Messiah. Likewise, Messiah Yeshua, remember, that's his Hebrew name. It's where we get Joshua as a derivative of Jesus. When asked about the future of Israel, confirmed this as a latter-day promise in his own teaching out of Matthew 24, verse 31. He, meaning the Son of Man, who was also the Son of God, will send out his angels with a great shofar, and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. And we talked about that in a previous video here as well. The shofar, the breath of God, the sound of his voice, and the Ezekiel vision about how the, the bones and the sinews and the flesh came on the dry bones in Ezekiel's time as he prophesied or spoke forth the word of God to the four winds. Again, this is Jesus speaking out of Matthew chapter 24, verse 31. Believers in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, should have a fond appreciation for this rich, holy day, Rosh Hashanah. It has served historically as a time of spiritual preparation and repentance, both themes we can learn from. Prophetically, we are reminded of God's promise to regather and restore his chosen people Israel in the last day. Remember, Paul the Apostle told us to go to the Jew first and then the Gentile. The sound of the shofar is also a reminder of the blessed hope every Messianic believer possesses. We could enter Messiah's presence at any time according to Titus chapter 2 verse 13. Let us give heed to the sound of the shofar and all that Rosh Hashanah has to teach. We will continue with our next video on a practical guide for believers in Messiah. Check out our website, crossculturenm.weebly.com. Be sure to like and share our Facebook page as well as connect with us on other social media sites. And do subscribe to this Cross Culture New Mexico YouTube page.